Okay, so let's revisit by floating rate bonds. This is a bit more complex than the previous one, but we'll work through it together. The example given here is Chad decides to purchase a floating rate bond and he fills up a debt of five tokens, which was caused by Kevin's one year deposit of 100 tokens at a 5% fixed rate interest. For example, Kevin deposits 100 die into the front page and let's imagine here that this fixed APY is in fact 5%. What this means is that when Chad buys the floating rate bond, he will earn floating rate interest on 105 tokens. The extra five is here, the 5%. Kevin's total withdrawal will be 105 die, 100 plus 5%. As you can see here, the fixed rate that ATA MP4H offers on the front page is actually 75% of the initial floating rate offered by the underlying protocol. In this example, Harvest is the underlying protocol. So if Harvest offers 10% at a variable rate, ATA MPH offers 75% of that at a fixed rate. Buying the floating rate bonds allows somebody to immediately fill up the debt of one or more of the deposits of other people. This reduces the risk of a site-wide insolvency. Okay? You can imagine that if all of the floating rates that were originally chosen drop dramatically, drop over 25%, then it would cause an insolvency event across the whole site. So to protect against this, we have introduced the floating rate bonds. Kevin's floating rate bond has just been bought by Chad and therefore his risk of insolvency is gone. So what this means is effectively Chad is longing the floating rate. He thinks that the original floating rate offered by Harvest Protocol is in fact going to go up. So he decides to purchase the floating rate bond outright. Let's go into the interface. Here you can see, you again must choose your pool. They align exactly with the ones on the front page. Again, we will choose our OBTC from the Harvest Finance Protocol. If you decide to have a play around with the interface, let's go here. Your average floating rate APY prediction. This is only an estimation. This is just a calculator for you to see. It does not actually affect the bond itself. You see here, you pay. This is how much you must deposit in order to purchase the floating rate bond. When I move this, the estimated ROI and the estimated profit will change, but the amount you pay does not change. And you can see here, if you drag it further enough back, it says minus ROI. Why does that happen? Okay, so your average floating rate APY prediction at 5.8% APY. Let's go back to the front page here and check the curve OBTC pool. Here it is, 7.22% APY. So Harvest is offering 7.22% plus 25% as a variable rate interest. ATA MPH is offering 75% of theirs, which is 7.22% fixed rate interest. Now, if you purchase that floating rate bond, you must of course expect the APY floating rate to be above 7.22%. Otherwise, you are going to make a loss. So let's go ahead and move this up to 7.22% on the correct asset. So here, 7.2%, including fees. This is, there you are, 0% ROI. Now, if you can imagine that I think it will go to 13%. I've purchased the floating rate bond at 7.22%, but I think it will go to 13%. My personal ROI on that bond is 76%. Imagine it goes to 20%. Okay, here, 100% ROI. My profit changes. Below here, number of deposit debts to fund, all, starting at one to all. There are a number of deposits in the front page. However, as CRV OBTC is actually a new protocol, there is currently only one here, you can see. 
the deposit list, there is only one. So one, all the same thing. Let's, for example, see the uni. You can see here lots of deposits of this. So you can actually choose which of the deposit debts you want to fund. Now, of course, this changes how much you must pay in order to purchase these bonds. If I just purchase one or two, I can pay a very small amount. But if I want to purchase them all, I must pay $2,800. So you can see that it depends on which one you want to purchase. But let's carry on with the OBTC. So I'm going to play it conservative. I think that the floating rate may rise to 10% as opposed to the given fixed rate of 7.22%. So I'm going to outright purchase the entire bond here. I must pay this much. I'm paying in OBTC here, so I must deposit this much OBTC. These are the interests that I will earn. This is my estimated profit. Here, the average maturation time, that's of the full deposit list. There is only one deposit currently. So the average maturation time is the exact time of this one. The median, of course, is the same as there is only one. So let's go ahead and continue. Okay, and now let's deposit into the protocol. As you can see, gas fees are very high, but there is nothing we can do, we must wait. So whilst we're waiting, let's have a look here. The maturation time of this deposit, as you can see, is 29 days. That means that after 29 days, I will have earned an estimated $266 if the underlying APY protocol makes 10.6% as opposed to the original 7.22%. If harvest protocol makes 10.6% interest on this particular interest bearing asset, then I will return 612 my original investment plus 266 profit. This is the asset that I am earning interest on this many curve BTC. Again, if the ROI is actually higher and it goes to maybe 14%, then I can get an extra stack of ROI, estimated profit, $606. Okay, so that transaction has gone through and here we can see active bonds. Here is our active bond, the Harvest Finance Curve OBTC. This is the amount we paid in Curve BTC. We are currently earning interest on this value. That was the initial deposit. The interest paid out is currently zero, refund amount zero, MPH rewards also zero. We can go here and check. And as you see, no debt available because we have just bought the only existing deposit. Now, this is complex and I do recommend again that you go to the documents and you do some reading. I also recommend that you go and check out our friend Elliot Trades Crypto. He made a fantastic video all about 88 MPH. And here at eight minutes, six seconds, he goes a little bit into depth about the floating rate bond. He doesn't deposit like I did, but he does talk about it and it's worth watching. Again, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to come to the Discord, the Telegram or our WeChat and ask myself or McFly for some help. Thank you.